With your first news at 10 Sports, here's JT Faribault. December 1st was when it all began for AA teams. Now, 14 weeks later, only the best remain. We've reached the mountain's peak, and only one question remains, and that's this. Who has planted their flag at the top as state champions? In the girls' title game, the Demons are seeking their first state title since 2009. Davies seeking its first ever. Ashton Safronsky gets the steal, comes the other way, and finishes the layup. She had a game high of 24 points. Fallen Passanante, she was a star for the Eagles. She takes a three and hands the Eagles the lead. She'd be named tournament MVP for her efforts. Still in the first half, the Demons are hanging in the game. It's Jersey Berg finding Morgan Johnson Colbert, who knocks down the mid-range. Well into the second half, the Eagles were up by 11, and the Demons were trying to stay alive. Paige Brewer finds Jersey Berg, who knocks down the mid-range. But here's the ultimate dagger. Carly Franks drops a huge three to push the Eagles ahead by double digits with about four minutes to go. For the first time in school history, the Eagles are state champions. Here's what head coach Tona Safronsky had to say after the historic win. Uh, you know, it's, it's amazing. Um, the girls, we put together, you know, a season where they were challenged all throughout the season. And we talked a lot about Preparation creates confidence, and I thought that the girls really bought into that, and they were prepared. We played hard teams all throughout the season, different situations. We don't have any bigs, we play bigs, and um, I just thought whatever situation was thrown at them, they were prepared for it. The rest of the tournament bracket looks like this. Number one seeds faced off in the third place game. It was Red River who won. West Fargo, Horace takes fifth. Now to the boys championship game. Fargo North is looking to go back to back. They'll have to get through the Mustangs first. It's a long pass ahead to Noah Olson who's open in the corner. He knocks down the three pointer to get the Mustangs on the board first. Now North looking to get its offense going. Bang, it's Jeremiah Sim who answers right back for the Spartans. He's been huge for them this tournament. Mustangs again, they work the ball around the perimeter. This time it's Caleb Deer who drains it from the corner. The Mustangs really set the pace early. Now, North coming the other way. Matthew Sim jetting to the basket. It's a strong take, and it gives the Spartans their first lead of the game. The Mustangs will pull away late in this one, though. They're your AA boys state champions. Davies will take third place in the boys bracket, while the Demons top century to take fifth. With the AA state championships for basketball just wrapping up, only the boys A and B tournaments remain. There's a few Class B teams still knocking on the door, and the only way through is to win in today's state qualifiers. The first Division B state qualifier in Newtown was Garrison against our Redeemers. First quarter, it's a tied game until Wyatt Weekly hits this long-range three-pointer for our Redeemers. The Troopers would keep it close early on as Braxton Eagleheart musses his way into traffic. He was fouled on this play as well. The Knights open a second quarter lead. Nolan Schmidt drives into a double team, but it doesn't matter. 30 to 18 are Redeemers at the half. The Troopers would try and stay in live in the second half, but it won't be enough. The Knights will finish in front. 57 to 40 is that final. The other one, it's Bishop Ryan trying to make it to the B, Washburn trying to take their place. And when you have a 6'7 athletic guy in the lineup, you feed him Ramsey Walls. He scores and the Lions lead by six. Second quarter, Bishop Ryan leads, grows big time, walls the block. Jet Lundeen shows off his speed. The Lions scored 18 out of the 20 total points. but the Cardinals are way behind. The Lundin and Waltz combo is just way too much for Washburn. Ramsey scores his thousandth point tonight, and the Lions are going to the B. The A state qualifiers took place beforehand. Kildeer and Beulah will be vying for a state title in Fargo next week. The Marauders' first season at the ACHA Division I level ends with pick up a win in Aberdeen, while the Minotauros stick three past the Bulls to take a win as well. 